welcome back a change of pace uh, this is actually American uh, it's a peace dollar from 1923 and I don't really do a lot of Americans I try to get uh, one example of each coin type if it's within my budget uh, the one I would love to get the St. Gardens type double eagle is way outside my budget so that's not going to be there for a while anyway this is a uh, the so-called peace dollar from the 1920s uh, and then briefly 1934-35 in the aftermath of World War One, where peace was obviously on high demand. Uh, the Morgan dollar had been the American dollar for a long time. This one replaces it. Uh, the artist Anthony de Francisi was the one who designed it and he actually put his wife Teresa as the model. Uh, just zooming in a little, it's a pretty portrait uh, and I think this, to me this is one of the prettier portraits after the Drape Fuss dollar. Uh, that which is my probably my favorite of the side profile ones, but I like this portrait quite a bit. This is an error variety actually, uh, and you can see this. It's the whiskered, so-called whiskered jaw. Uh, it's an error on the die, and this was made at the time error at the time of manufacture. Uh, so it's a slightly, it's not a regular thing. Uh, you have God we trust. You have the standard profile things, and then reverse upside down. And uh, if you zoom at the bottom, you can actually see the word peace. And I'll try to zoom in and hopefully this will cooperate. Okay, there we go. You can see the words peace at the bottom, hence the peace dollar. Uh, this, again, this coinage lasted for about a decade and gradually after World War One, World War Two, you start moving away from precious metal silver coinage uh, because they realized you didn't actually have to mint your money in precious metals uh, and it didn't necessarily lead to collapse of the economy. Uh, this coin is in a slab, which sadly is very common on American and modern coins uh, as a way for grading. Uh, to me, it's slightly, well, you're stuck with it for those coins, but sadly this virus is spreading to ancient and medieval coins, where you lose a lot of knowledge, where the ability to hold the coin in your hands and feel it and feel the fabric and feel the manufacture. Obviously with certain modern coins, fingerprints and stuff on the high-end ones can make a difference and hard to wipe off, but... Uh, you sort of get into this whole thing of what you're doing is an investment and the grading and stuff, but you don't actually get to hold the coin, you don't get to feel the coin. And touch and tactile uh, uh, reaction is a good way to get an understanding of what an object feels like. Uh, so, so, needless to say, I'm not a fan of these plastic coffins, but it is pretty much the case for American coins and you're stuck with them. You can get unencapsulated peace dollars and one of these is I'll get one, just, you know, the ability to feel it. Then. They can get really pricey, this one wasn't that pricey, uh, but you know, you, and I'm not an uh, American coin specialist, so I'm not going to spend crazy amounts of money on these, so, but anyway, something different, uh, an American peace dollar, as usual, I'll do the comparison with our George Washington quarter, so you can see the comparison size, uh, these are crown sized uh, uh, things, so basically about an ounce of silver, so about 26 grams of silver, so, you know, they're big. Uh, they're big suckers. Um, and it's a, it's a nice coin type. Uh, I do like these. I have a friend who collects, who's been trying to collect all of them, all mints and all mint marks. I'm not going to do that. So, but it is one of the nicer portraits. I do like this particular portrait, as I said. And that's it. Uh, so you're going to see one of the rare American coins you're going to see showing up on this YouTube channel. Anyway. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and you will be notified when the next video comes out. Take care. Talk to you soon. I'm sick and tired of living in a band down by the river!